Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, good vibes, good energy, good people. It's your boy Mickey Fenty, aka Mickey Made It. If you're new to this channel, you know what to do to this channel. Subscribe right now. Also, if you want to support my brand, it's inspiredbydreams.shop. And it's a preppy streetwear brand that I'm growing with you guys, my community. And we're just growing together. Okay, today's episode. Now, this episode is very important. This is something that a lot of people are getting confused in these times, especially with social media and all these fake gurus telling you what to do and what not to do. But you guys know my energy and you guys have grown with me. And you know I do research on certain things that I bring to you guys that can open your mind up to a different outlook on how things are and how things are really supposed to be before we get into this i want to warn you guys people are not gonna understand what i'm saying until they understand what i'm saying today we're talking about hustle culture and it's just so you see so many influences and just so many people just throwing these doing a whole bunch of just stuff and just hustling on this and merch and and i'm selling books and i'm selling information i'm selling this i'm selling that and it's really none of that stuff is really a part of who they are and this is what we're talking about it's not the burnout that you have at your job it's not the burnout that you have with your community it's the burnout that you have inside and the further you do these things the further you find yourself not knowing who you really are and what god put you on this earth to be so today's breakdown we're talking about hustle culture and why it's not really important in these times a lot of people will tell you legacy tell you this tell you that but from people from your past the past generations and the people in the past where are the legacies that continued on until now? If you really take it and analyze what's really going on, it's people selling the same jargon over and over again. So if you want to break the cycle, that is what I'm into. Breaking the cycle and open people's minds up to the tricks. All these little things that people try, the buzzwords, everything that people try to do to get you guys confused on what's really happening in these times. And if you do things out of your heart and you lead it by God's route and God's way, your journey is going to be way more, way more substantial than a person just out there hustling. Let's get into it. Mickey made it. Mickey made what you made, Mickey. Forget about the way it used to be. This is not a damn democracy. We are in a state of emergency, and my word is law. Young Americans are finally ditching girl boss culture and the toxic hustle culture of past generations. And instead of working themselves to the bone for minimal reward, they're actually prioritizing work-life balance. Wages aren't keeping up with inflation, which is making it hard for them to hit milestones like homeownership. Resume Lab did a study and found that 83% of Gen Z would consider themselves job hoppers. And that regardless of the company culture or how long they've been there or how much they like the company, they are more worried about getting paid more. So they'll leave and go get a better paying job. And that in another study, over 40% of Gen Z are actually doing a full-time nine to five, but doing a side hustle as well. A lot of them apparently are turning to investments like cryptocurrency and real estate in order to secure their financial future. They know that solely relying on your employer is not the vibe anymore. Am I the only one that doesn't like hustle culture? Why do I need an LLC? Why do I need multiple streams of income? Why am I lazy if I don't want to be an entrepreneur? Why can't I just be normal? You got to lose sleep. You're going to lose family members. You got to work 90 million hours a week. Why, why do I have to do that? I like what I have. I'm cool with what I got. I'm trying to figure out what in history happened where enough no longer became enough. And who decided that luxury or lavish living was the best way to live? And I'm guilty of it too because I have well over 100 pairs of sneakers. And that is not including my basketball sneakers or my soccer cleats, indoor and turf. All these pairs of shoes and I only got two feet. What happened to make the majority of people go against our nature? Like everything we do is against our nature. And I feel like that's the root of depression. It's in our nature to want to survive. And these are the conditions we're given now. Well, we got to do all this extra shit in order to survive. But the conditions we are trying to survive in is unnatural. But it's a bunch of bullshit, right? Can, can we agree that all of this is a bunch of BS? My bad, this is just a stream of thought. 
uh, that stemmed from a video I saw in the comment section was like, y'all don't got what it takes to be an entrepreneur because y'all lazy. And I'm thinking like, is it that they're lazy? Or that they also see that it's bullshit that we got to do all this extra stuff in order to, I guess, match the new normal that somebody created? Did we create this new normal? I don't know. What y'all think? Am I off? Like, tell me something. Tell me something, please. I'm trying to trying to figure this out i'm trying to figure this out you shouldn't have to sell the plasma out of your body to get by you shouldn't have to monetize your hobbies the things you should be doing for fun just to have a quick second stream of income you shouldn't have to take a thousand surveys a day or join 30 focus groups or play that little bingo bubble pop whatever game with the hopes of making an extra 20 dollars so you can eat something decent for dinner and you shouldn't have hot girl side hustles bookmarked anywhere on your technology now, I'm not shaming you if this is your reality, because I get it, because I've been there. These are things that I have done, thought about doing, or continue to think about doing to have some extra money. But what I am saying is that you're not special, that I'm saying that a lot of people have this lived reality, and we shouldn't. We shouldn't have to work multiple jobs, have multiple streams of passive income, and pick up an extra side hustle on the weekend, maybe a little bit of Instacart, so you can have a nice place to live and food on the table for your family, even if your family is just you. And I know we've normalized it like hustle culture stay on the grind get your money up not your funny up like I know we're used to it but we shouldn't be we were not put on this earth to work forever what I'm saying is if you're looking for a second or third job or if you're getting an ad to sell your plasma or any other bodily fluid or if you find yourself thinking about what chat service you can join that will send you more than 10 cent a text for every lonely person you message you should be angry you should be boiling angry and you should carry that with you into all the decisions you make I just want to say hustle culture is going to be the downfall of this generation because there is no reason why I should have to work two and three and four and five different jobs to provide one roof over my head, but then I don't even get to enjoy the roof or the fruits of my labor because I have to work all these jobs just to keep up with it. Something's got to get. Then you just don't want it enough. It's as simple as that. If you, I used to be like this guy. I'm not anymore because it totally was not worth it. Let me tell you why. First of all, the obvious, my mental health deteriorated. What's funny is my mental health was deteriorating because I was pushing myself beyond pushing myself to my limits to make money. And then I had to use that money to hire therapists and, med and get medication and get all this stuff so my mental health will be okay enough to push again to make more money it was just this like really dumb cycle there are certain things money cannot buy yeah money can buy you the therapy and stuff but you what, what's priceless is to simply have your peace of mind and sanity like that is priceless okay then my actual health was affected i got diagnosed with an autoimmune issue those are the kind of disorders and diseases that literally you could have gone your whole entire life without it but stress triggers like sends a message to your genes and triggers the disease and now all of a sudden you have a diagnosis and yeah the money was great to help me afford the doctors and diagnostics and medications and treatments but what is even better that money can't buy is like simply not having the autoimmune issue like at all i have a close family member who was diagnosed with you know the big c and we believe it was stress induced i mean it obviously doesn't help so anyway it affects your mental health it affects your real health and it affects your relationships and yeah it was nice to have the money to like go out all the time or do things or go to events that were important to people and or like have the money to be able to travel to see um friends but the, the, you know if you didn't if you didn't have money to do that stuff at all and you were just all you had was yourself and you had the peace of mind and sanity to just be yourself that is worth way more in your friendships relationships uh relationships with family pe that is worth way more to the people in your life than having the money to to do stuff so that's another thing that money cannot buy and there are things that money cannot buy that it's not worth it to push yourself to your max to your limit making more money should not be a her like a her a herculean effort <laughs> it should not be a herculean effort okay this guy wants you to think it's supposed to and he wants you to feel like crap and he wants you to feel guilty he wants you to feel like you're not doing enough because he's selling an e-course he wants you to buy his e-course i mean this is just look years ago i fell for this shtick 
And I'm telling you, don't do it, okay? Don't make the mistake I made. It is normal to be exhausted after your full-time job. This person that he's replying to was a teacher. Your job is more than full-time. Not only do you have tasks, but you also have so much emotional labor that you're putting forth. Like, don't, don't get me started. Mad respect to the teacher. My point is that you should find balance. If you want to advance yourself financially, there should be a balance. It should not feel like, like, oh like an agonizing task okay like yeah you're gonna work hard or you're gonna trial and error you're gonna meet failure like you're gonna go through stuff but it should not be look protect your peace okay you have priorities in life that is normal that is good figure out how to manage your stress try different things that work for you work for your lifestyle and your mentality and just my point is Okay, this you don't want it bad enough narrative doesn't work. Not not realistic. And you can, you can, I promise you, there are ways to increase your financial situation without this weird icky feeling. It does take a lot of trial and error, but you got it. Uh, I am 100% against hustle culture. I'm going to tell y'all how I got to that point. I used to be the person that didn't believe going out on weekdays. You grind. You ain't here to make friends. You ain't here to have fun. You grind until you get where you're supposed to go. I used to feel like that. I used to be like, oh, you need to give up sleep if you try to reach the goal. But now, y'all, I done got to a point where I've been able to go to the club on weekdays, study, work my job, get promoted, and still get eight hours of sleep and work out. That's what I did when I was trying to apply to business school and I got into Warden on a full ride. So I'm just here to tell y'all today, you can have a social life. You can get all your sleep. And you can do well in your career and like manage your relationships. You just can't procrastinate. I'm so tired of hustle culture. And I used to be a part of hustle culture. I wanted to be a motivational speaker. And in some aspects I still do, but you see all of these videos of people talking about hustle culture and waking up at 5 a.m. and working out and always eating healthy and always doing this and always doing that and always doing the most and doing more and making more and how much more can you get? The bigger car, the bigger house. It's all just a bunch of bullshit and we need to stop listening to hustle culture. And the moment that I did, the moment that I actually started slowing down, meditating more, telling myself that, no, I actually make more money when I slow down and I'm relaxing and I'm going and I'm getting a massage and I'm going and I'm getting my nails done and I'm going and I'm doing things that slow me down and put me more in a relaxed mindset versus a anxiety mindset that hustle culture talks about. You don't need to wake up at 5 a.m. just to be successful. Wake up when you're done sleeping. When you're no longer tired, wake up then and do your workout whenever you feel is good for you. For me, it's either 12 in the afternoon or it's 5.30 at night and that's when I feel best working out. So you don't have to listen to hustle culture just to be successful. In my personal opinion, it was the complete opposite when I actually started making ten or $12,000 a month. When I slowed down, when I walked my dog and then I started meditating after his walk, every single day that is when i started to notice more money coming to me but stop listening to these fucking people who are telling you that you have to be busy every single fucking second of your day just to be successful you have to work at it 5 a.m just to be successful no you don't the good thing about us being different is everyone's different and different things are going to work for different people so find your flow, find what works for you, stop listening to hustle culture because you don't need it just to be successful. You can actually slow down and be more successful. Hi, my name is Marissa and I'm a recovering advocate of hustle culture. I used to be that person proud of working two to three days straight with little to no sleep. Like it was like a badge of honor to me. I was like, you work hard, you sleep less, you grind daily, like let's get it. And underneath this hustle culture toxicity of a badge, I literally was in my mid-20s struggling. I was struggling mentally. I, like my mental health was detrimental. I was literally exhausted. I was stressed. I had anxiety. Yes, I was making a lot of money, but what was life? I was not living it. That's why I say the hustle is irrelevant if you work yourself to death because literally I almost did. But I realized I didn't have to sacrifice myself for success. You don't have to sacrifice yourself for success. You matter. Put yourself first. And these are five things I forced myself to do so that I could break out of that hustle culture mentality. I set boundaries. 
clear as day. I timed the block. I did whatever I had to do. I even penciled in, and this is my second one, prioritizing self-care. I penciled in like, what weekend and am, am I going to the spa? Like, when am I going to take my baths? Like, when am I just going to sit and do nothing? I prioritize me, my mental health, and that really helped with my anxiety. A few other things that I did. I changed the way I did business. Number one, like, well, I guess technically number three, but number one in changing how I did business, I delegated and outsourced. I relinquished this idea of I had to be in power. No, it don't got to be me that do it. You don't got to do it, sis. <laughs> Get somebody else to do it. <laughs> And then also I focus on efficiency. Like I built passive income streams. I was like, you know, like this funnel thing, let's figure this out. Let's make this work because I can build it once and it can continuously make me money. So delegate and outsource and focus on creating efficiencies within your business. Last but not least, cultivate a support network. Or honestly, if you're like me, just let your people in. I will never forget. I was so embarrassed. My boyfriend at the time had reached out to my friends because something happened and he was worried about me. And I was just like, why would he tell them? But then I realized they're my support system. Like, why Why am I hiding this struggle that I'm having with anxiety, with mental health, with exhaustion, with my business? Like, why am I hiding it? Let them in, you know, go to events that prioritize well-being, that talk about work-life balance, that talk about self-care. And connect with entrepreneurs that think like you. And that is how you will overcome this toxicity of hustle culture, this badge of honor that we as entrepreneurs wear. Let it go, sis. And just remember what I'm telling you, my good people. People are not going to understand what I'm saying until they understand what I'm saying. You have a whole bunch of people out there. It's just kind of like... They turn into this hustle man or hustle woman and they're hustling everything. You know, they have their merch. They're selling you pens, books, podcasts. They're selling you all of these things attached to them that they really don't have their heart in. And that's what is their burnout, that hustle mentality. Calling somebody a hustle or hustling somebody out of their money doesn't necessarily mean that it's a good product. We see a lot of businesses. It's the delusion. A lot of companies have sold broken products that only last for a few months or maybe up to a year. And then you're back looking for something else or back to the store to buy the same product once again. It's all a delusion and you have to realize the things that have value and things that don't have value. When you become this hustle woman or hustle man and you're just selling everything and just slapping your name on it, it doesn't give anything value. It actually devalues you as well as the product that you're selling. See, trust is built within the products that mean that much to the person making it. If you notice, a lot of billionaires, they don't have a whole bunch of companies as some would think. Yeah, they invest in stocks in comp other companies and that's more like a helping hand saying, you know what, I put my money into a company that's striving. But you'll never see a person just all a bunch of companies because what happens is they have attachments. When people are have attachments to your money, when something goes wrong, those attachments, when they attach, they're attaching with some of your money too. So pay attention to what's going on in these times. This is not like the old school, the way money is spent and the way money is being made. Don't let these fake gurus tell you how to live your life or how to make it out of a situation that they never even got themselves in or ever came from. A lot of these people don't come from struggle and they don't even know how to get out of struggle or what it means to struggle. Trust me, listen to the people that realize the real truth behind all of this and your mind will open up to different things and live in your life a better way. You guys let me know what you think about this whole hustle culture and you don't want to be a hustler. You just got to do something that you love that's dear to you that you can leave an imprint on the people that support you forever until next time it's your boy mickey fenty aka mickey made it if you're new to this channel you know what to do to this channel subscribe right now